A remarkable find has been documented in Scotland, and as the wood artifacts known as the Dixon relics have re-emerged in Aberdeen, where they were lost after being examined a hundred years ago, the relics were recovered from a shaft inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, and a carbon-14 date has been acquired. The tiny wood fragments of cedar wood had dated to the time before... Wait! Do you hear this? You guys may remember our video on the Dixon relics from a few years back, highlighting the frustrations that they went missing under strange circumstances, sending them between England and Scotland on a steam train in a cigar box. The relics were taken to England by John Dixon and mailed to the Astronomer Royal of Scotland, Piazzi Smith, who recorded them in his diary and says he then returned them to John Dixon. In 1993, Robert Vival attempted to trace the relics, finding some of the artifacts at the British Museum, but to his frustration, the cedar wood was missing, and that meant no carbon-14 dating could take place. Well, get on the phone, Robert. They are in Aberdeen, and the world's fascination in dating these relics is about to unfold before our very eyes as further dating techniques from multiple and superior sources is sure to spark a dramatic rewriting of the historical data laid out thus far. The artifacts have returned a carbon-14 date of between 3,341 to 3,094 BC, 500 years earlier than the historical record, which date the Great Pyramid to the reign of the Pharaoh Khufu between 2,580 and 2,560 BC. And this, of course, is another shocking revelation in our historical misguidance, further adding to the mystery and meaning that access had been acquired to the Great Pyramid 500 years before the king credited as having built it was even born. This means excavations were taking place in the Great Pyramid before Egypt was even a unified state, before kingship even began. This means the Great Pyramid is prehistoric, right? The discovery came by chance, as did a previous discovery of another piece of the artifact in 2001 by a librarian. But this time around, the discovery of the cedar wood fragments came from an Egyptian researcher in Scotland. Sounds like a film, right? Nothing apart from these relics and the extremely controversial Khufu cartouche were even found in the Great Pyramid. No hieroglyphic inscriptions, no paintings, no mummified remains, nothing. Nothing was ever found that we can say what it was, who built it, or why. It is the biggest mystery on our planet from a time in history that we are educated to believe that such an undertaking would not have been possible. These fragments show us, however, that there must be a lost epic in human history, a time from which the current wave of existence re-emerged from. The Great Pyramid confounds human understanding, and we as a people must break free from our chains of silence that stops us from knowing. We must begin to understand the story that has been crushed by empires, empires that our sweat and guts help build, empires that kept us in the dark so that they could gain control over us as a people, a darkness that must come to the light. Curatorial assistant Abir El Al Dani was reviewing items in the university's Asia collection when she came across a cigar box marked with her country's former flag. Inside, she found several wooden splinters, which she then identified as a fragment of wood from the Great Pyramid, which has been missing for more than a century, and she told the Lost History Channel that the university's collections are vast, running to hundreds of thousands of items, so looking for it has been like finding a needle in a haystack. I couldn't believe it when I realized what was inside this innocuous looking cigar tin. I'm an archaeologist and have worked on digs in Egypt, but I never imagined it would be here in Northeast Scotland that I'd find something so important to the heritage of my own country. It may be just a small fragment of wood, which is now in several pieces, but it is hugely significant given that it is one of only three items ever to be recovered from inside the Great Pyramid. Neil Curtis, head of Museum and Special Collections at the University said, Finding the missing Dixon relic was a surprise, but the carbon dating has also been quite a revelation. 
It is even older than we had imagined. This may be because the date relates to the age of the wood, maybe from the center of a long-lived tree. Alternatively, it could be because of the rarity of trees in ancient Egypt, which meant the wood was scarce, treasured, and recycled or cared for over many years. It will now be for scholars to debate its use and whether it was deliberately deposited, as happened later during the New Kingdom, when pharaohs tried to emphasize continually with the past by having antiquities buried with them. The cedar fragment originally belonged to a much larger piece of wood, which was most recently seen in a 1993 exploration of the interior of the pyramid by a robotic camera in hidden and now unreachable voids. The stunning discovery and further dating to a time some 500 years before the reign of Khufu is a stunning clue in our research for answers as to why the Great Pyramid was built. By no stretch of the imagination whatsoever, we can explore the fact that it is an impossible undertaking. We assume it was built by thousands of men working 12-hour shifts, transporting huge blocks up to 400 miles, and placing these megalithic stones with such a precision that they would form the mega structure of the pyramid that has stood the test of time. No equipment or tools have ever been found at Giza, and this suggests that it is far older allowing time for metallic objects to be recycled back to the earth from which they came. The truth surrounding this wonder has been lost to history, but the dating of an artifact that was recovered from within a shaft that it was poked down in prehistoric times shows us that history is not what we think it to be, and we would encourage anyone looking to build an understanding of the timeline of the past to check out the Lost History Channel Squatter Man Project series. Comments below, guys, and as always, thank you for watching.